to find heat transfer by conduction, we use this equation. It is less the thermal conductivity, 0 dot 0.3. Here, like we are not working with integral or derivative, we can consider delta T and here and here just the thickness okay just remember delta t is final t less initial t in this case how we are working with conduction we have to consider this part only our t final will be ts1 and initial t inside TS1, which we are looking for, less T inside, 308 Kelvin, divided by thickness, 0, 0, 0, 3. It will be less 100 TS. 1 plus 30,800. Okay. Now uh, we have to perform the same to convection. And now let's replace the variables. 8 is the convection coefficient. It's 2 multiplied by to convection. We are considering these temperatures and weight. So, the temperature will be TS1 and TS2. Okay? TS1 we are looking for less TS2 297 Kelvin. The heat transfer by convection will be 2 TS1 less 594 Okay? So, here we have a particularity, because if you see the equation of radiation here, you can note that temperature is the fourth power dependence. That means we cannot solve for each explicit. Then we use another equation. That's here. So, to find coefficient of radiation we have to use this equation it's here okay the emissivity at the exercise 0 dot 95 multiplied by this is a Stefan Bolt's constant so the number is here multiplied by TS1, looking at, looking at here, TS1 plus TS surface 2, so here uh, we have another particularity, we we'll have to guess a value for TS1, so we guess a uh, TS1 like 305 Kelvin. And now we stop and think, oh gosh, is this value correct or not? So, two things to say to you. First of all, in the end of the exercise, we can try and verify if it's correct or not. Second thing, what number can I use in this case? If you see all situation inside of your body, it's the higher temperature is 308 Kelvin. We know the temperature from left to right is down. The final temperature is 297 Kelvin. So the TS1 have to be a, a value between so we get a 305 Kelvin, okay? Então, here is 305.
2.305 Kelvin. And here is 297. So the coefficient will be 5.88 watts divided by meters second multiplied by Kelvin. Okay, so now we have to take this value and put here. So, key radiation is 5.88 multiplied by surface area, 1.8 multiplied by T as 1. This is the variable we are looking for, less T as 2. 297. This way the key radiation would be 10.58 TS1 less 31.41.8. Okay, and now what we have to do to put all together the first, second, and third equation. So, TSI will be 306.7 Kelvin. In order to verify the gas value, we can put the TS1 find it in this equation. If you do that, you will find uh, 5.93 it's similar so it's correct okay i hope you enjoy if you have a suggestion feel free bye bye thank you